Hello, welcome back. I'm Dr. Hassan Dohid. Today we will talk about the evidence pyramid for research, or it is also known as study design pyramid. So what is the pyramid all about? The pyramid shows all possible study designs. And the pyramid ideally is the best for the clinicians and healthcare students, healthcare researchers, although it is applicable to other fields as well. And we'll talk about this. But now let's, let's, let's talk about the pyramid. What is pyramid and why it is important and how does it look like? So a study design pyramid shows all possible kinds of study designs. Now, if you see the study design pyramid at the bottom, you will see in vitro research and then comes the animal research then comes the ideas opinions and editorials then comes the case reports and case series and then comes the observational studies there are three kinds of observational studies what is the the one at the bottom cross-sectional study then the case control study then the cohort study and then comes the clinical trial the giant but clinical trials are not on the top you see what is on the top systematic reviews and meta-analysis so this is what a, what a study design pyramid or evidence pyramid all about. Now, what does this pyramid show? This pyramid, this pyramid shows the strength of evidence. The strength of evidence. The studies at the top are the strongest research evidence and the studies at the bottom are the weakest evidence. Is that simple? Yes, that's it. So from bottom to top, when you go upward, the strength of evidence increases. When you go downwards, the strength the strength of evidence decreases. Now, let's talk about this. So, why some studies are at the bottom? Why some studies are on the top? What is the criteria? There are two reasons, and we'll talk about this. So, the studies at the bottom, let's, let's talk about them. The in vitro studies, they are the weakest study design. They are the weakest evidence. Why? With respect to, with, with respect to whom? with respect to human treatment and because of bias. The chances of bias are more in the studies at the bottom and the studies are least related to human treatment. So the more the studies are related to human treatment, the higher they are on the pyramid. That means the best, the better evidence they are. Now, that actually definitely doesn't mean that in vitro studies mean nothing. In vitro studies are wonderful studies and they can be very powerful studies. But we're just talking about this pyramid that scientists who created this pyramid, they believe that in vitro studies are the weakest evidence. Although if you ask me, I don't believe in that. I believe all studies to be equally important, equally valuable. All scientists who are working in the in vitro field, they are all highly respectable to me as equal to anyone who is working in a clinical trial. All the scientists are equal. So that doesn't mean that if you're working in a lab with the in vitro research and animal research, you worth less. No, that's not true. This evidence-based pyramid is created by some scientists who believe that it is according to human treatment importance. So remember that. So don't put yourself down if you're working in in vitro research or animal research lab. You, you are equally important uh, to somebody who is working in a clinical trial or observational study or who is working uh, on a systematic review. So now, the studies at the bottom, in vitro studies are least related to human treatment. Then comes the animal studies. Of course, they are least related to human treatment as well. Then come the, comes the ideas, opinions, and editorials. They have chances of bias because they are somebody else's opinions. Then comes the case reports and series, only one person involved in case reports. So yes, the chances of bias is more and uh, less related to human treatment because you cannot generalize just one person and uh, then uh, the, the treatment or whatever you're doing you cannot gen generalize to all the population and then the cross-sectional then the case control then cohort and then clinical trials so that's how the systematic review is structured so remember these things the sequence that the topmost is the systematic reviews and meta-analysis they have least bias because you check quality of course they have least bias they're more related to human treatment then clinical trials, very much related to human treatment. Then the observational studies, then these case control, uh, sorry, case reports and case series, then the ideas, opinions, editorials, and then the, um, the animal studies, then the in vitro studies. Remember the sequence, it should be on your fingertips. 
and uh, so that you can remember exactly what the sequence is so you know uh, the study design you will remember study designs that's it it will help you remember the possible kinds of studies so and um, most most I mean I would say the highest quality highest chance of bias is at the bottom you will remember that and it is least related to human treatment less chance of bias is at the top and they are more related to human treatment now all this can be can be proven wrong if we use the same study design pyramid for any other domain so can this be used in any other field absolutely you just remove the in vitro studies and animal studies all other study designs can be used even in finance in in economy research in history research in literature research anything any field you belong to physics chemistry of course in vitro you can have it in chemistry even animal research you can have in chemistry um, it's a wrong example to give but what about physics yes you can you can uh, mathematics and uh, what about uh, what about finance economy business all these fields you can have research so yes you can have ideas opinions editorial at the bottom if it's business for example then comes the case case studies case reports then comes uh, uh, and, and case series and then comes the observational studies cross-sectional case control cohort and then the clinical trials you don't call clinical trial as clinical trial when it is non medical related field for example in business in finance these kind of research studies or plants these kind of research studies you will call it as interventional study or experiment simply interventional or experimental study that's it and then on the top systematic reviews and meta analysis so yes, you will have systematic reviews and meta-analysis in other fields as well. So this is what a system, this is what a study design pyramid is all about, or um, evidence pyramid. Just watch the video again. Just remember it, and remember all studies are equally important. You are equally important, and this is just for the learning purposes to make you remember the list of the study designs. That what are the possible kinds of study designs? Because if you remember the pyramid you will remember all possible kinds of study designs. Stay tuned. See you in the next video. Thank you.